This question is from the October 2020 U.S. exam, non-calculator. College Board gives us a linear equation, 3x plus 8 equals kx plus 8, and they ask for what value of k is there exactly one solution. Two ways to look at this. If you, if you have a linear equation that does not have exactly one solution, it either has zero solutions or infinitely many solutions, and zero or, or infinitely many solutions mean the two sides will have the same slope. Which means k equals 3 because the slope of 3x plus 8 is 3. The slope of kx plus 8 is 3, so k equals 3. Similarly, infinitely many solutions mean the same slope. k equals 3. If a linear equation doesn't have no solution or infinitely many solutions, it will have exactly one solution. And so if we do not have exactly one solution, k equals 3, choice C. College Board typically rewards this differently as for which value of k are there infinitely many solutions in this case because 3x plus 8 equals kx plus 8 has infinitely many solutions for k equals 8. But it's equivalent to say, if you have exactly one solution, which of the following could not be the value of k. So no solution, infinitely many solutions, and now does not have exactly one solution. You're looking for same slope on both sides. Alternatively, you can graph this. I'm not going to put a lot of time into it, but 3x plus 8 has a steep slope and a wider step of 8. If k equals 0, 0x zero plus 8 is just a horizontal line that intersects in one point. If k equals 1, that's the line of slope 1, again intersects at the y-intercept. 3x plus 8 if k equals 3 is the same line and intersects at every point. And 8x plus 8 is a very steep line that intersects at the wider, intersects at the y-intercept. So all three choices other than choice C intersect at exactly one point, the y-intercept. So choice C would be the answer. But the fastest way to answer this and the way that matches their usual wording is to look for the same slope, k equals 3. Come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.